Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a credit card multi tool, one that you could keep in your wallet. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open up Design Spark. I'm going to create this in inches, so make sure you're, uh, you're set up for inches. Okay, go ahead and go to File, New, Create a New Design. And then uh, we want to change our design to Plan View. Uh, and then we want to minimize. I have a little drawing here that I'm going to bring in. Okay, now we want to go ahead and make sure this is the right size. So we're going to create our multi-tool. Uh, it's going to be 2.7 by 1.75. So we'll go ahead and get the square tool or rectangle tool. We'll check our define from center and we'll click and drag. Now we're going to type in hit the tab button. This is going to be 2.7 so we'll go ahead and type in 2.70 tab and then we're going to go actually tab back that's supposed to be 1.75 so hit 1.75 tab and then the height is 2.7 so we'll go ahead and put in 2.7 okay now we're going to go uh, scale this down the graphic down so go ahead and grab the upper right corner hold down the shift key and let's constrain this then we'll go ahead and scale it back up. Okay, this is close, but we want it to be as close as possible because all these tools are going to need to be uh, created. So we'll go ahead and blow that up just a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to say that that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and control plus. Let's pan down. Uh, I'm actually going to stretch this sideways a little bit. on Non-proportional stretching. So this will fit exactly in here. Okay, so now we'll control plus. Let's pan down. We're going to go ahead and create this piece right here. So we'll go ahead and get our line tool. And we're going to turn off the snaps because that's going to interfere. So we'll go ahead and click there. We're just going to follow the contours of these lines. We'll come all the way down to here. Go over. Go up. Okay, and then we'll select to click off. So let's control plus to get a little bit more detail in here. And then we're going to pan over. Okay, we're going to create this round part here. So get the corner rounder. And we're going to click there. And we're going to round this to 0.116. Okay, click. And then we're going to click here. 0 0.1, 0 0.116, that's going to be our, our uh, opener. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and uh, create a line right here. Straight down. Let's go ahead and get our trim away tool. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of that one. Now control plus, let's pan over a little bit. I'm going to add this piece in up here. So we're going to go ahead and get the three point arch. Go from endpoint to endpoint. Right to there. And now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that line. I want to create a new one. Then we're going to go tangent. Right there. So there, okay. It's a little bit better. Now let's get our trim away. Let's trim away this. Trim away that little piece right there. 
Okay, undo that. Okay, that's okay. That's good right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, control minus to zoom out. <laughs> now I'm gonna put this little screwdriver corner in here. Okay, now we're gonna go tri get the trim away. Trim away those little corners. Okay, now let's pan up. Now we're gonna create this piece in the middle here. So go ahead and get the rectangle tool and just go from the corner here. Click and drag out. Let's go make that one and make this uh, 0 0.7. <clears throat> okay. Now go ahead and get your corner rounder tool. Let's round the corner. Let's go, let's just go 0 0.1. And do the same over here, 0 0.1. Same there, same here. Okay, that looks good. Now this one here, we're gonna go ahead and offset. So we're gonna grab our offset tool and we're gonna move that up 0.13. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and create. Uh, let's let's put a line right here in the middle, and then select to click off. Now we're gonna right mouse click on that line, set as mirror. Now we're gonna get our three point arch. Now we only have to draw one of these lines. We'll go from there to there. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Now we'll go ahead and get our trim away. And then trim away this middle piece. We're gonna have to trim away this too. This will have to come back in here and uh, <clears throat> do some refinement on it. This is gonna be our bottle opener. Okay, so let's pan up a little bit. Let's go ahead and put this piece in here. So we'll get our circle. We'll go ahead and click drag out. Let's go 0.1. A mm, little bit more. Let's do a little click and drag out. Let's go 0.13. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to get our circle again. <clears throat> Let's draw a line from here to here so we're sure we're sure that we're going to be in the in the center. Okay, get our circle tool. 0.13. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get our uh, tangent line. We're going to go from there over to that point, and then we're going to go from there, the right side over to the other right side. Okay, now we're going to grab our trim away tool or T on the keyboard shortcut. All right, let's get these out of the way. All right, there's that part. Now we're going to draw this little piece in here for uh, your uh, six sided tool. So we'll go ahead and let's click there. Let's drag a line out. 0.764 and then let's drag that down just follow the contours of the uh, let's control plus let's zoom in a little bit just follow the contours of the of the lines on the uh, on the piece. Okay, so that's going to be that tool right there. Uh, I'm going to redraw these lines. They look a little bit janky. Don't really like these lines. Okay, so 
I'm going to put a longer line in there. So let's grab the line tool. Go from endpoint right to there. And now we're going to come down to there. And then let's overdraw this right to there. And select the click off, grab trim away. Get those pieces. Okay, that's okay there. All right, now we're gonna pull up. We're gonna draw this piece in here. Let's put this circle in first. Try to go right in the center of that circle. Let me just go 0.1. Okay. Now we're gonna get our line tool. We're gonna draw this piece here. Follow the contours. Oh, I do. And point straight. All right, there's that piece. Now you're going to go ahead and put a circle in here. So grab our circle tool. Click and drag out. Let's go. Let's go 0 0.56. 0 0.56. Enter. Get the move tool, <coughs> click on that, and let's grab the red arrow and move it up. Okay. Now you're going to do this piece here. This needs to be cut out, so we're going to go. Let's draw a line in there. Straight across. Okay, that's going to help us make sure that there, our line is center. So we're going to draw a I think 0 0.092 is going to be good. Then we're going to get our tangent line. Let's zoom in, control plus. We're going to go from there straight across. You can overdraw if you want. Grab the line tool again. Straight down, get our trim away, trim away these pieces here. He's like, hello. Okay, Cooper, dog wanted in. Okay, so now we're going to go, we got this piece, this piece, this piece, let's pan down, we got this one, we have our bottle opener, I'm going to actually move the bottle opener a little bit, but we'll do that later. Okay, now I need to uh, scroll up here. Let's go ahead and put these corner round corner rounds in here. One, 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Okay. Go ahead and pan down. Okay, so this is going to be, let's go ahead and go offset. I'm going to offset that over a little bit. O point o 0.02. Then I'll offset this one. O point o 0.02. Then we'll go ahead and get rid of these lines. Delete. We'll go to... Um, this create corners. We'll go to there, then we'll click on that, and go to the second one. Now we're going to trim away. All 
All right, and let's undo that. It looks like they're going to have to extend those too. So go ahead and create corner. Click this piece, that piece there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, trim away. Let's get our line tool. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and round those a little bit. So get our create corner rounder. 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Okay, that's going to be our. This will be our bottle opener right here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and put in these little serrations. I'm going to draw them just by drawing a circle and then moving down. So I'm going to create an 0.1 circle, then control minus. Now I'm going to move copy this so I'm going to go ahead and move then I'm going to do create pattern then I'm going to move that down to there 1.240 and then I'm going to put in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so we're going to go 11 circles actually let's undo that let's put 12 uh, maybe one more undo 13 uh, undo 12 enter 12 is going to be a little bit better okay so we'll go ahead and control plus to zoom in now we're going to trim so we'll grab our trim away we're going to trim away these pieces here so we're left with a jagged piece for a cutter So let's get rid of those. Okay, let's pan up a little bit. Get those last few. Go ahead and trim away. Pan up, make sure we got all of them, and we did. Okay, so you have your circle there, you have that, you have this tool. Could probably put our lines in here, and then we'll just uh, extrude those. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's get the rectangle tool, or actually, let's get a line tool. I'm going to go from the middle there, go 0.5, actually no, I didn't want to go that far, undo, let's go from there, O point four four seven. okay, select the click off, grab the line tool, Do the same there. O point three five nine. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna rotate this. So actually, we need to offset these. Let's go ahead and um, go to move. Create pattern. Oh, actually, let's take that back. Select. Go to offset. We're going to offset this over 0 0.04. Oh no. 0 0.01. Sorry about that. My dog is. You okay, Cooper? Dog is choking or something. Okay, do 0.01 on these. Let's 
control plus. Let's pan down. Let's go ahead and get the line tool. Go from endpoint to endpoint. Select the click off. Let's get rid of that metal line. Let's go ahead and pan up. Grab our line tool. Go from endpoint to endpoint. Click on the middle one, get rid of it. Okay, now we're going to rotate that pattern around. Control plus. Let's pan down. Let's drag a marquee around this. Actually, you can move that out of the way. Let's move that out of the way. Control plus, control plus. Let's uh, drag a marquee around this. Control to get to deselect that one. And control to deselect that one. Now we're going to move. We're going to create pattern. And we're going to move this down to the center. And then we're going to. Actually, you know what? I needed that one, two, three, four kind of need this piece in here. So let's move it back. Okay, let's control plus, control plus. Select these lines here. Okay, now go to move. Create pattern. Move this into the center. Okay, let's go. Let's go to these amount here. Now you're going to create another circle. So go ahead and get the circle tool. I'm going to come out to there so you can trim these little ones off. So let's go ahead and uh, just have to put one, put these inner middle ones in here. So let's get rid of this. Don't need it anymore. Just one right in the middle of each of those. Okay. Double checking. Drag a marquee around that one, or actually just select it. Let's go to move, create pattern. Let's move this down to center. Grab this one, go right to the middle there. Okay. All right, now let's get our trim away. So every other one is gonna be small. So this is small, big, this one's small. It's a big one, this one's small. Big one, this one's small. It's a big one, small one. It's a big one, small one. Big one, small one. Big one, small one. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and bring that graphic back in. I got to see. 
What's going on with this? Okay, so control plus. Let's move that up. All right, so this has to get cleared out of the middle here. So we'll go ahead and get our trim away and then just start cutting. A little time consuming but just line at a time and eventually you'll be done Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Don't need that, I don't think. Oh, actually, you do need that. All right. Let's trim in there. Okay, now you're going to have to get rid of all of that. Okay, now the control plus. Let's pan over. Let's go ahead and uh, trim away and then just get our uh, little pieces here. Uh, I think we're going to trim the inside one. Trim those. Inside one. Trim those. Inside one. Pan up, grab the trim away, get those two lines there, get that inside line, those two inside, get the inside line, okay, and now um, Let's see how this trims out here. This looks like this is, these are supposed to be small over here. I guess all of these are supposed to be small. This is a big one, this is small, this is big, it's a small right to here. And then these are smaller. All right, so what you're gonna have to do is put another circle in here and then just cut these off. Let's pan over so we can see. I'm just going to make all of these small. I'll just go ahead and trim. Trim away those three. Oops, undo. Don't want to get that. Yeah, I'll just cut that one too. It doesn't have to be long. Okay, now let's get rid of these. Get rid of that little line that it created there in the middle. You have to zoom up a little bit on this pan. Let's get the trim away. Let's get rid of this, get rid of that one. All right, let's pan up. Okay, that looks good. Let's control minus, control minus. Make sure we got all our elements. Okay, we have this piece here, this piece here, this hole, this piece here, this one, bottle opener. All right, let's get rid of those. Select. 
Let's just keep one. Control minus. All right, let's pan down. Let's go ahead and uh, spin this. Let's go to pull. Let's pull this to 0.1. Okay, control plus. Let's get rid of these, don't need them. Pull down control key. Let's pan up. Oh, these got cut out of there. I guess that's okay. Let me look at this. No, I actually didn't want those to get cut out, but you're going to have to pull these back up individually to the top surface. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's go control. Let's see if we can do this first of all. Let's go control plus. Let's click on the piece right here. Control plus. Let's pull this up. Okay, we can. All right, so that's what we want to do. We want to be able to click on that, pull it up to 0.15. Let's see if that's too tall. Oh, that's way too tall. Let's undo, undo. Okay, let's go pull. 0 0.12. Let's see if that's too tall. 0 0.12 is probably okay. All right, so we're gonna do that on all of these. Click on these, type in 0. Point. Oh, I gotta make sure you're in pull. 0 0.12. Oh point one two. Oh point one two. Now you'll have to spin this along as we rotate these, because you got to be able to see them to click on them. Oh point one two. Oh point one two. Let's pan up. Let's spin. Go to pull, 0 0.12, 0 0.12, 0 0.12, spin, pull, click on that, type in 0 0.12, let's pan up, get the rest of these. 0.12 enter 0.12 enter 0.12 enter all of these are 0.12 so just type in 0.12 enter and they'll you'll get them all okay looks like you got them all I'm gonna spin this around in the back make sure everything's good back there minus actually top okay so now we're gonna go ahead and um, put in our um, part for the, uh, the blade it's gonna be a blade on this piece so let's go ahead and spin this let's go ahead and pull on this piece here and go to chamfer this is gonna be 0.05 0.05 that's going to be half our thickness of this piece and then we're going to spin we're going to go ahead and pull and then we're going to pull let's spin around farther so I can see okay this one here go to chamfer type in 0.05 okay that's going to be our first cutting edge Okay, now we're going to do the same thing here. This is a cutting edge. Make sure it's on chamfer. Type in 0 0.05, half the thickness of the of the uh, actual credit card multi-tool. Okay, now we're going to go pull. We're going to pull this one. 0 0.05. 
Now we have a little bit of a blade there. We're going to spin. Okay, now we're going to go pull. We're going to pull this one here and this one. So get both. 0 0.0. Oh, actually, undo. That was a fillet, not a chamfer. I got to make sure to click back. 0 0.05. Let's spin this around to the back side, pull. Let's get that one. Hold down control key, get that one. Type in 0.05. Okay, let's spin. Let's pan this over. Click off. Okay, so this should be the blade right here. This one is the blade right here. This is the opener. Okay, now you're going to have to put pull. You've got to make this piece right here a chamfer. So go ahead and select all of these by holding down the control. That's control plus. I can't really see if I'm grabbing that one or not. Okay, change the chamfer. Go ahead and click on it and pull. Don't think it needs to be that big. You can go 0 0.04 on this one for the bottle opener. Okay, now we're going to spin around to the back. Let's pan over. Let's spin a little bit. Grab the pull and then get these. Hold down control. Okay, we're going to pull, we're going to pull with the chamfer, and then we're going to pull. Oh point oh four. Okay, so that's going to be our little bottle opener right there. All right, so now let's go to top. Um, I think. I'm going to put a small fillet around all this stuff. So we're going to go click till everything is selected. And we're going to drag out an 0 0.02 fillet there. Um, and I'm going to do the same on the edges. Okay, right this edge here. 0.02 okay go ahead and spin this control plus let's pan over we're almost done here let's put a fillet in here click till everything's selected 0.01 now I'm going to put a uh, chamfer in these Hold on, my dog wants to go out. Okay. Hold down control key, get all these little openings right here. Let's pan up. I'll put that other one in later. So we'll go ahead and go change that to chamfer. I'm going to click here, pull out a point. Let's go 0.05. Let's put a pretty serious one in there. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this around to the back. Let's pan over. Let's get all these. Pull. Let's pull these. Hold down control. Okay, type in 0.05. Oh, it's not wanting to do it. Okay, let's manually. point oh five okay oh that was a fillet not a chamfer that's why you got to pay attention to this stuff right there
0.05. Okay, now you have your serrated teeth there. Spin this. And then you're going to have to do that last one, 0.05, that you forgot. Make sure that it's chamfer. 0.05. Okay, so now let's go to the top view. Looks like our tool is complete. The only other thing we don't have is a ruler right here, but I'm not going to put that in. So we have a bottle opener, we have a serrated knife edge, we have a uh, knife up here, we have a screwdriver. Um, this is it. It's going to be our multi-tool. Go ahead and delete that and then we'll pan over. Let's go ahead and um, spin around here. Let's put a little fillet in the other side. We forgot to do that. Let's go click, hold down control. Get these pieces right here. Then make sure it's on fillet. Type in go to 0.01. That looks good. Okay, we're going to go to the top. That's going to be our credit card multi, multi-purpose tool. And uh, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoy watching and you got something useful out of the video. Okay, thanks again for watching.